For nearly three decades, one man's fake science controlled an entire nation. His theories promised miracles, but they destroyed crops, starved millions, and silenced real scientists. This is the story of Lysenkoism, the pseudoscience that wrecked Soviet agriculture. Welcome to the discarded hypothesis, where we explore the strange scientific ideas the world threw away. Today, we uncover how one man's lies reshaped an empire. Trofim Lysenko was born in Ukraine in 1898, the son of poor peasants. He had no formal training in genetics, but he quickly learned that in Stalin's Soviet Union, politics mattered more than truth. Lysenko claimed that plants could inherit traits acquired during their lifetime. If you expose seeds to cold, he said, their offspring would grow better in cold climates. This idea, called vernalization, was not supported by real science, but it sounded perfect to communist leaders who wanted quick fixes and revolutionary farming. Lysenko rejected Mendelian genetics, the foundation of modern biology. Instead, he insisted that environment alone could transform crops, just as communism claimed environment alone could transform people. Stalin loved it. Lysenko was promoted, celebrated, and given total control of Soviet agriculture. But his methods didn't work. Fields failed, harvests collapsed, and famine spread. Meanwhile, Soviet geneticists who criticised him were silenced, imprisoned, or even executed. For decades, the Soviet Union banned genetics, the very science that could have saved their farms. By the time Lysenko finally lost power in the 1960s, millions had suffered from hunger, and Soviet science had fallen decades behind the West. His fake theory became one of the most devastating examples of ideology crushing truth. Lysenkoism was wrong, but it teaches us a critical lesson. Science cannot survive without freedom to question and evidence to guide it. When politics dictates reality, everyone pays the price. If you enjoyed this story, hit like and subscribe, because next time we'll dive into another discarded idea, one that tried to explain the universe with nothing but invisible strings.